St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner, so I thought it would be irresponsible of me not to do a video on Irish whiskey. So I'm heading into Merchant House, and I'm gonna do some tasting. If we start comparing Irish whiskey to scotch, we're gonna be in trouble. So we're not gonna do that. Irish whiskey has to be aged for a minimum of three years, three years in a day, and it has to be made in Ireland. There are four different styles of whiskey they produce. Irish hot still whiskey, Irish single grain, Irish single malt, and then blended Irish whiskey. Those are the four different categories of Irish whiskey that can be produced today. There is also a fifth, which is not a whiskey, hot sheen. You couldn't say that with a more English accent. That's terrible, I'm sorry. So I've pulled out some of my favorites. And if we start looking at this lineup here, it can probably be quite daunting. But if we look closer at some of the labels, then all is revealed. We will see the words hot still, single grain, single malt, blended, and they all taste significantly different to each other. I'm gonna rearrange them in style so that we can then have a taste. We have all of our pot still whiskies over here. Single grain whiskey here, and there are plenty more single grain whiskies to choose from. This is just the only one that I've chosen for today. Then we have all of our single malt whiskies, pot sheen that I've put at the front here, and then we have our blended Irish whiskies. Four different styles, four little tasters. And then of course, there's pot sheen as well. Single pot still Irish whiskey, made in a single distillery. It has to be made on a pot rather than a column. It's gotta be a mixture of malted and unmalted barley. So there's nothing quite like a green spot Irish whiskey. Irish single pot whiskey. It's a fantastic example of the category. Green, really helpful to remember because a lot of the flavors that we get off green spot are green orchard fruits. Plenty of apples, pears, quince. There's a little bit of spice comes through. This is delicious whiskey, and if you've never tried it, this is the bottle you buy next. Then we have Irish single grain. Single distillery, predominantly unmalted barley. Continuous distillation on a column still. Column still gonna produce lighter style alcohols, so grain whiskies much lighter than their malted or pot still counterparts. Right, tasting number two. We're gonna go over to Teeling, the Teeling distillery, and we're gonna have a little taste of their single grain. Lighter, drier, Beautiful nutty spiciness coming through on the finish. Really lovely, very delicate. We then have Irish single malt, 100% malted barley from one single distillery. Traditionally in Ireland, triple distilled, making it slightly lighter than scotch comparatively. This is from the Boutique Whiskey Company and it is an independent bottling of whiskey from the Bushmills distillery. Single malt Irish whiskey, oh wow. That is delicious. Mm, soft, what is that? What is that note? There is so much going on here. I'm getting hay, straw, hints of vanilla. There's that spice coming through, probably a little bit of black pepper as well, and a really nice chocolatiness. You can also get peated Irish whiskey, Connemara. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not gonna taste it now because it's just gonna wreck my palate because it's so full flavored and rich and oily and dense. Beautiful liquid though. And then the last category, blended Irish whiskey. Predominantly a mix of Irish single malt and single grain. Real range of whiskies that we get in this blended category. I'm just gonna have a little taste of JJ Corey, the Gale. Some really exciting liquid coming out from a relatively new company. They say that if there's a science to distilling, then there's the art of blending. 26-year-old single malt with 15-year-old single malt, 11-year-old single malt, and seven-year-old grain whiskey. Oh, hello. Oh yeah. There's a real depth to that. The flavor is just lingering and lingering. Wow, it is changing all the time on the palate. I am so impressed. Lastly, we're gonna have a little taste of some pot sheen. Not an Irish whiskey, but absolutely awesome liquid. Born pot sheen, born white. It is clear, no aging process here. The flavors are just out of this world. The herbal note, malty note, creamy notes. A lot of fun to be had here. I know that they recommend it neat alongside a pint of Guinness. The born and black, the white, and black, very good stuff. Okay, so lastly, I just wanted to finish off on the fact that Irish whiskey is getting even more, even more, even more exciting. They're playing around with the casks, the barrels in which they finish their whiskies in. Virgin Hungarian oak, French chestnut, Irish oak, virgin Irish oak, port casks, Mizanara, Japanese casks, Caribbean rum casks, barrels that used to store IPA beer, stout. How exciting is that? So my top tip for Irish whiskey, if you're new to the category, 
Brewery starter green spot. If you've tasted a lot of Irish whiskies before and you're a big fan, then my top tip for you would be to try and seek out some of those independent bottlings. So I hope that's been helpful. Pot still Irish whiskey, single grain, single malt Irish blended whiskey. Four different categories. Have a little taste of something from each and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Have a great St. Patrick's. Slangevar, Slancha. Cheers.